Yeah. All right, no. He tries to bolt. Uh, on the net, I imagine it coming through. Oh! <laughs> Too close to me. So we'll work through this problem. If I can stick with it, is when he stops his feet. And okay, so it's not we're neither of us. We're okay. not strong enough to mm. stop him from doing it. Hi guys. So basically, I'm sat here. I've come back from Florida, which was so hot, uh, beautiful, beautiful, but hot. Uh, come back to the UK, and it is boiling. And it, I don't know. It's a different sort of heat. Uh, I'm sat here. You might be able to hear just a little whirring noise. I got a big fan on me. I was going to do this in the sunroom on the swinging chair out of everyone's way, but it's way too hot. So you might hear a little bit of a fan going now, but I'll speak up so hopefully you can hear me. So this video, I've just watched through this video now and there's loads going on in this video, guys. I've just learned stuff myself by, by re-watching it. So a few, few weeks back now, I went to um, to three, three, three girls, three ladies uh, in the same family. One was horse mad mom, and then horse mad daughter number one, I'll call her, and horse used to be horsey daughter number two, who's got out of horses now, not really into the horse thing, but you've got a horse mad mom and horse mad daughter number one. So, but they've got a few horses. Horses are their lives, and I think it's about, I think it's about 18 months ago or something like that, maybe two years ago, um, they bought a uh, quarter horse, well bred, reigning bred, uh, they're little pocket rockets they can be. And there he is guys, that's him, and he's only four years of age. So yeah, there he is, nice looking horse. Uh, a youngster that they knew was very, very, very troubled and difficult. Now, they train up really well a lot of these well bred quarter horse, reining and, and, and cutting bred uh, types, but they're as easy to train bad as they are to train good. So basically they took this horse on and it has been the most challenging horse of their lives. Right from day one, petrified of anyone going in its right eye or its right hand side, would rear all the time rear. It would bolt off with them. Uh, even when the horse was kind of started to ride, it would bolt off with them riding. And now it's got to a four year old and um, there's, they've got problems with this horse still. Uh, uh, they've got a lot better. Some of the early stuff, they've got a lot better. They've worked very hard to improve certain things, which they definitely have improved certain things. But w the situation is now, shall we call it family tragedy? It is a little bit, guys, because basically mom has got sclerosis of the spine. So her, her strength and her uh, back's terrible. So she has to kind of be on the sidelines a little bit now. Can't do what she did before. Um, and I know my sister's got this um, crumbling of the spine. It is manageable kind of thing, but it's a horrible thing. And it, it's, uh, you know, she basically she's got it now and, that, and that's it. She's got to be very careful. So horse mad daughter number one. She could have took care of everything, done the riding, looked after all the horses, no problem. She's a really get up and go girl, but she contracted cancer, guys. And she's been through all the chemo, all of the things. And thank God, I'm touching wood here. She's kind of in remission, very weak still to what she was. So really at the moment, riding a, a young, difficult horse, four year old quarter horse is kind of not possible. She's been told by the doctors and everyone, just keep yourself safe for now and recover. So. There's these horses need looking after, bringing in, blah de blah de blah, and the youngster needs riding really, or they want, you know, they want to keep the riding going on, uh, and that's what this video is about. Because daughter number two has not been into horses for a long time, um, riding this horse that's so troubled uh, still will break away. You can't lunge the horse to the right because he'll just he'll just bolt off. Riding, he can bolt off and not stop him. Um, it can still rear now and again and be difficult on the ground, you know. Uh, so that's why I've been called in. Can I c try and help this horse? Can I give the girls a program between the illnesses and the one daughter who's pretty pretty fit uh, to try and make this thing work? And the first thing obviously is me doing something with the horse, setting the horse, 
working with the horse and trying to pass over. Uh, and I'm only there for, for half a day, guys. Uh, I'm in uh, Worcestershire area, sort of the Midlands. I'm about three, again, 300 miles away. Uh, and that's what the video is about. So there is a little bit of tragedy, a little bit of sadness, but hopefully some ha happiness as well uh, within the video. So I'll uh, get cracking that. We've arrived at job number one today, Tanya. Yes. Uh, Weather nice is indoors day, isn't it? absolutely amazing. Yeah, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Uh, now we just noticed, and just been told, that dear Esther... So we inherited a, a rearing problem with him. You inherited a rearing a problem? A rearing problem. So he's a riding ground, horse, was broke. He was only just back. Okay. Um, we, nothing, he hadn't done anything since yeah. November. Yeah. I bought him in the June. Yeah. And um, how long ago that was? Last June. La I bought last him. June. Yeah, and we've been working with him ever since. Okay. Right then, quick correction there. They haven't had him for eighteen months, two years. They got him in the June. So at the time of this video, they would have had him for about six, seven, eight, eight months, something like that. So he had just been backed when they got him, just to clear that one off. The other thing, as you probably seen by the video that Michelle sent, was that on it, he, you couldn't do any work when we had him on his right, in his right, right eye. Right eye, common no. as hell. Yesterday so, was the same. <laughs> More on the right side. He still keeps pulling off, and I'm not strong enough to hold him. So he keeps, he keeps, he keeps well, dragging really you off. We shouldn't be doing anything with him, but anyway. Because you've got um, osteopor yeah, osteo osteo osteoarthritis. osteoarthritis. I've got yeah. autoimmune disease oh, as well, dear. so. Um, so um okay. shall also uh, she had cancer and she's also um got lots of problems left over from that so uh, the the other problem i'm working on at the moment with him and i'm sending him into the back of the stable is he kicks the door with his front feet like you're nobody's business okay so I, it sounds like you've done yeah, a lot of work we, we have yeah, done a lot uh, of work okay. but we're not experts and it's no. this way of working because as you can probably expect yeah I'm in my 60s. Yeah. Horsemanship's um, horsemanship. Yeah, so, I always say, it's not, but, there's no, they're so similar. A good horsemanship is good horsemanship. Yeah, it is. Uh, and, um, so. and basically, uh, I just like it so much because it makes so much sense to me to, to have them working on the ground before you do anything yeah, else. Yeah, just get them good on the ground because you're, you're only riding yeah. what you're leading. Exactly. Now, if I said to you, if there's something today you'd like some improvement on, yeah, we'd what? like to, to um, we'd like maybe to, work on kicking the door, give you an idea of yeah, how to maybe. And uh, basically, we'd like to try and stop him pulling off. Um, but when would he drag you off? What, what, when, what kind of. He used to drag off and rear as you were leading him. Anywhere? Anywhere. Right. Yeah. Um, and the lady that owned him before used to keep him on a really short, which made him worse. Mm and um, we stopped that um, but it i sounds just to me it sounds to me. me like you need some really good grammar he, he the round pen that more... you've hired yeah um esther has hired that round pen brilliant first. brilliant yeah, yeah. to do some work so that will help yeah um i'll do some round penning do some good groundwork in there yeah and then we'll see if he's anywhere and then we'll we'll see whether yeah. we can kind of dissuade him from kicking the door, because that's annoying, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? I'm, I have been working on it, because I have my so I got the flag. Oh, very flag. good. As soon as he comes <laughs> kicking the door, I just show him the flag, and he, and he goes back. Right <laughs> back okay. <laughs> so it is Is there anything else he can kick other than the door? Because you can you can put a, a, hail, a, a hey. bale of hey. straw, yeah. uh, and then just sli Strong. slide it over, and then you get over, because then they find yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. They don't I mean, make the normally, noise. <laughs> But I put in a wooden bar across, but haven't done it yet because we haven't been here long. We okay. Have to sort okay. everything out. So, it seems to me that that problem with yeah. the kicking door, that's something you can work on, it yes, sounds yes. to me. Yeah. My time might be better spent with the groundwork. Yes, and, yes definitely. Um, yeah. Okay. Definitely. So, do you, what do you want to do? What's your pit? Get them in now, is yeah. it out of your What we thought we'd do is because he loves the mare. Okay. Yes. I'm going to bring the problem child in. Naughty Neville. So, <laughs> I've, been, I've been handed this, so we'll use this. Equipment. We need to change his name from now. What's his name? His name is New Boy Neville. Because <laughs> he's going to be a new boy after new boy today.
well, catch, catching him, putting the lead rope on wasn't as easy as I thought it might be. But they did say he can be he can be hard to catch. So here I'm just working with it, guys. Keep working with it, just walking him down and kept releasing him for two eyes. And I, I get him caught fairly quickly, I think. Now. I get the gate for you. Oh, please, thank you. Are you going in the round pen? Yeah, I'm just It's quite windy up here. Is it? I'm just making sure he uh, has a, because there's a rear in, that he can flow back. That's great. Look at the, there. It says it up there. Look, the Round Pen Company. Wow. It's pretty cool, isn't it? And they come and you hire it. Let's wow. uh, take him in here so we've seen it. Huh? Now, parts of this video, guys, you will hear wind noise. Even with the sock special thing on the, it's a, good, a real loud wind noise comes through there all the time. So we're doing our best, and I'll do a voiceover if I need to for any. Bits I don't want to miss. But he's fine. Yeah. So, that's fine. He's fine. Stop. Seems really chilled out. Yeah. Hi, Charles. Hello. <laughs> what a lovely day. Gorgeous. So, what a lovely little stay we've got. Yeah. Isn't it? As you can see, I'm warm, but we haven't put this up yet. All right, we yes. A, um, yeah. So he tried to go underneath this when I first put it in his other stable and found he couldn't because it didn't. <laughs> yeah. so, it didn't bend. With what you inherited, you've done really well with this one. Yeah. yeah we do try. Do. <laughs> I think. I mean, I, I, I just let it use on his own up there. Yeah. yeah. I spent months and months. Every time he reared, backwards, 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 yeah, backwards. Yeah, free frame backwards. Yeah. Usually yeah. that helps. Um, so did I, and so did my other I mean, he, yeah. he hasn't. Actually, he's full. Oh, all right. right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, um, all right. Opportunity not to miss, guys. You can see there, he just sort of decides to go forward. I'm not there as far as he's concerned. So I say, no, things are all different now. You don't push into my space. You don't knock me over. You don't send me through the door. You, you you give me my respect to space. So there, I backed him off immediately. You know, and I'm glad things like that happen when I'm at these jobs, guys, because it's what gives me a chance to start to change things. So, you've worked from the head showing us, the ear showing us. Yeah, yeah. All that seems it's, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. a bit funny when you um, had on. He's heard, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, but that, yeah. nothing that's... No, that's you. terrible. Um, you work from a bit of a flex. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, uh, his head down, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I pers personally think, you know, if you inherited all of that, you've done well, I do um, We'll just give him five minutes now, just to, yeah. uh, before we do anything. You can put a straw bale there. Yeah. Uh, have you ever tried that? No. Because then, when he does it, you don't hear it so much, you just pretend to ignore him. Yeah. Uh, I've seen people put a little uh, 
fingers crossed as well. We don't shout at him or anything. No. Nah. That's what they're trying to do. I just do. get the flag. Yeah. Get yeah. The flag is stable. Yeah. Flag. To the back. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't live without people. No, no, it's in there. <laughs> the lid's on the bin there. Um. Wow. And then your last roading went. Where wasn't that? Yeah. Did you ride the last or was it me? No, you rode. Where did you ride again? Uh, in, it was in the school. If it was me, it was in the school. If it was you, it was across the field. Yeah, I took him down the field. Did you? And he's yeah. all right? No. He tries to bolt. Oh, does he? Yeah. He just can't stop him doing. He just gets his, his head, head away. He does this. So. Right. He locks it. Uh, no, no, ground. Well, he didn't do it for me then. How can we simulate that? Uh, try and work him. Out. Try and lunge him, and then you'll see <laughs> him do it. Okay, well, this is good information for me. Yeah. So. If you lunge him, he doesn't want to lunge, he'll just try and he'll straighten up, up yeah. straighten his brain. He, he straightens up and does this and then goes off. But we couldn't get him on the right rein to start with. He was Mostly very... on his right rein he does it, mostly. Yeah, because so, so when you've got him going round to your right, he, he'll go. He'll go. Yeah. And, and if I put the pressure on today, you expect him to do that with me? I would think so. I would hope so. I would just think to, so because if he doesn't, and I can't improve anything, then, no, then no. hopefully. The only way I have managed to stop him doing it yes. is to put the lunge line on his bit. Yeah. And I don't I, um, want Esther to do did that. say that. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. then sit, try and sit on the, the okay. lunge line. And do I you don't think this comes that. from sort of early on then? So yes. he's done this since you got him? Yes. So maybe he wasn't a hold to broke that no. well. No, maybe. no, he wasn't. They used to lead him right from yeah. his head, like okay. literally underneath. And mainly that side, which we yeah. all do, we're all yeah. guilty of it. Yeah. So that's why he was bad this side, yeah. and that's probably why he is still bad that side. Yeah. Really. Okay. Well, he uh, does tend to do it when you touch his chest. When you touch his chest, it? Okay. So, okay, can you remind me when we go up to yeah. take, 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 have you got, you have you got a stick or get? I've got, got my carrot stick. Um, okay, whichever you're going to use, I'll use then. Yeah, right, okay. Yeah, and I'll get him kind yeah, of right, over that. Right, right. I don't know if you want to use that one about it. Oh, it's a tip on or whether you want to use it. Oh, you're going to use it. Go and get yours. Because I don't know. Don't use me a lot more, but, but you don't need a big horse, you know. No, no I don't. I, 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 I like, like my Nita, he's only like 14 too. I mean, but they're built like, uh, how much is this bat? So like I think he's going to, all right, so if I get, remember the test, the armor. Yeah. Which is there. Yeah. Down to the start really the bit. Like some people say it's the middle. I think the most accurate way is you go to the start of it there. Mm, that's what so I that's do. That's that. If I turn that up now, go for ulna, find the oh. ulna again. There. So that is um, So there he is. Mm. About two inches. Yeah. It's a nice size. Perfect. Nice size, perfect size. That's a nice size. You don't need them any bigger than that. No. Um, give you an idea, guys. This mm -hmm. horse is bred, cutting and rainy bred. This is cutting a quite small horse, but very powerful, among the most powerful in, in the world, really. And here, this fencing where they turn the cow on the fence, they're very fast. And there's the rain in, and then the sliding stops. And that's what, what this horse is bred. Amazingly bred, really. Now, with his running off, yeah. we've got to, in the saddle, mm. get him thinking, back, back, back. Yeah. You, I don't know what your backup is like if I get you to ride him in a bit. Uh, I can't remember on him. Well, the reason I say this, I have so many people yeah. with teaching them with the next string, and then you have this on yeah. with your bit. Yeah. So you teach them to back up with this. Yeah. Have you ever done that with him? Uh, not with him, I don't think. Right. If I just put the start in that now, yeah. because we'll get it a bit better up there. So, yeah. so basically, this will be probably pounds at first. So look, I'm going to not tut to start with because I want it to be that. Then I can add the tut in later. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so look, I'm going to think back and I'm going to put, a, a, right, now that's about three pound, four pound, five pound, six pound, seven pound, eight pound. Now I had a thought back then. Mm. Did you see him just yeah, like this yeah. front ender? All right, so, again, one pound, two pound, that was about five pound, okay? Uh, bring it forward again. Uh, so you start off with quite a few pounds, and it ends up with ounces. 
you've got to release immediately that he thinks about it. All right, so then I'm going to increase here. And release. Yes. Yes. So that's how you start it. You can practice that in here. Yeah. I've tried that. That's the way of doing it. No. It's to add to your bit. Yeah. Yes. So that yeah. when you're, a lot of them will bog down with a bit because mm -hmm. we've, we've let them go forward with big pressure. Yeah. Right? They run them through the bit really because you like that, but they're going forward. Yeah. This really helps so that when you, he won't back up, pick that up, say, no, that's yeah. what it is. Okay. So I get some of them backing quicker with that. Yeah than with the bit. Yeah. So you've got to be able to get him ba -ba 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 back. Yeah. Uh, so that's that. So, um, the, the saddle, do you, want, do you want to check whether it fits? Uh, it, it, I would have thought for what I want you to do, okay. it will fit. Oh, oh here's his breeding. Oh, there you go. Here's his breeding. <laughs> no, now it's there, just a packet. Yeah. Again, guys, I've slowed that down. He just sort of pushed into me. So if I'm not there, it's just not acceptable in my world. And that's what helps horses mentally if they don't think they can do that to you. So there, it pushes into me. I feel him sort of pushing on me there. So I immediately back him up. So in other words, there was nothing in it for him. The more he did that, the more I would back him up um, and back him around the stables or do groundwork or whatever. But that is just not acceptable um, to push into my space as if I'm not there. So I hope you kind of can understand why I bumped him back there. Uh, no anger though, no anger's involved. Just say, that's not acceptable. You do not come through my bubble and knock into me like that. So it's a good thing for you to see. I welcome that opportunity to be able to correct that. So he's kind of thought, oh, well, I'll just push past me. Yeah. So if he did it again, because yeah. I've just, I've been pretty stern there. I backed him off and now I've left him. If he does that again, I wouldn't just do the same thing. I'd back him all the way around here twice. Yeah, yeah. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. You've got to make him, you've got to make him not want to do it. Yes. So this young horse has got front shoes. Which, if you're only on soft ground, you only go maybe from the arena to the yeah. to the, um, the to the barn, and it's soft. That's, that's fine. Okay, yeah. I, I'd go with that. That's fine. If you ever, especially with a young horse, where they're most impressionable, I've learnt over the years all the horses I've broke, the ones with front shoes only. If you hack out they get very 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 front end heavy and the reason is they start to favor the fronts even more because they get a bit sore on the back um, and i've noticed a big difference with some of the horse in the past that i broke to ride with fronts compared to fully shod yeah because then they don't favor the front. and you want this court horse eventually because the way he's built and the breeding he is yeah. you want him to stop on the back end yeah you want him to pivot if you want him Western trained, you want him to pivot, yeah? He won't, in their minds, with a rider on, if they ever get sore on their backs with no, with no shoes, yep. they stop pivoting. Yeah. And it's a big old English turn, I'd say. Yes. Does that make sense it a little bit? Per, yeah, perfect um, sense. So just bear that in mind. If you're gonna yep. hack out, yep. get backed on him, yep. else you will end up with a yeah. proper front end of yours. So if I can have, so. By the sounds of things, he, one, he, I'm going to find some problems when I lunge him to the right, to the, to the, to the, to my right. Yes. yes. Uh, so I think the best thing to do, now you've hired this, do you do realise it's going to be cut up in here a little bit? Yes. Yeah. You're happy with that? You yeah. just have to stomp it all down. Yeah, absolutely fine. Uh, how long have you got this for after? Two weeks. So you can play around yourself. Yeah. If I put the, uh, have you done anything in here with him yet? No. Not yet. No. Good. That's, do you know what? Fair play because. I've been to places to. with, I've just had a round pen. Yeah, you wanted to, and they've already done it, and it's just got a bit pear, mm. and then it's difficult. So hopefully, it's okay. so I'm just, just going to move them around here. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I've gone from neutral now. So I just want him to move out a little bit. look 
back in, which he didn't. I'm not going to send him back out. Because he's on his right, the right side, he won't want to look in. He probably would have looked in already on the other side now. Yeah. So what I, I'm, I'm trying to get him to do, to, to realise that looking, coming to me mentally with this eye, will do him some good because he can have a bit of a break. But you see I'm not waving this all the time. Yeah. Only when I want something. So he's got rid of this now by moving. Now I'm going to cut him off and see whether he can tip his nose. So I'm going to see if I can get his attention. And it'll go away when he tipped towards me. You see how I just got his attention there? Yeah. So I'll leave him alone now. Now he's come away. Right, so I'm going to see if I can get him back. See if I can get him back. I couldn't, so I'm going to send him now. Now, the best place on the outside, if he comes in, until I ask him, there's a bit of pressure there, till he's on the outside. Yep. So, so I'm going to see if I can draw him in here. Right, so you see how when he gave me two eyes, I drew him in. Okay. Guys, you've seen me do this before, I'm sure. Look, as soon as he searched, tipped his head, so I saw both eyes in that moment, timing's important. I just turn my shoulder and say, right, follow for your, for your zero pressure, for your release of pressure. And I become, following me with two eyes becomes a better opposition for, proposition for him. And look at that, guys. He turned in there lovely. And that's the start of it. That's the, once they do that, then they will experiment the other way for a little while and then try again because it worked for them. And once you've got, got them hooking on, we call it, it it's, a, it's a great thing. A lot easier on this side. Yes because of the eye. So I want him to know that's good. So I can see if I can get his attention. There. Yeah. He's going to be not very spookable, this horse. No. no. You've got a lot. See how he turned in then off his eye? That's what I was trying to achieve. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Again, I need his attention. Got it. Got it. Okay. All right. When he looks away now, I'm going to ask him to move. <laughs> <laughs> So for, for losing me, it's all psychology. I'm going to kiss him up into a counter. When I say, do you see then he decided? Yeah. Really important there, guys. You've got to watch a horse doesn't take over. I've had it happen in the past a lot. I've learned from it. See there, he looked in, said, I'm coming in now for a rest. And I say, no, when I ask. Important okay. little nugget there. Well, I draw him in. I just move my arm then and he's back. <laughs> so I'm putting this in for you that you can work on with. Yeah. yeah. Getting his attention. Fabulous. This is what we wanted. This is, this, this, this is exactly. See how the, very quickly this is. Yes. I, uh, now, I need him to go the other way now. Uh, now he's got rid of the flag because he went. I can't keep on shaking it. No. Use your, use your verbal <laughs> Now it's very, very important in that moment that I say no. I'm asking you to go. Yeah? Good start? Yeah. 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 <laughs> A little kiss. And then 
stop kissing them immediately they go. And then see whether I can draw him in. That's all I want. Come in here, it doesn't matter. Okay. The fact that I've got his attention now. Yeah. See how I'm getting that back for you? Yeah, yeah. You'll see this on the video. This will be priceless for you, this video. It will, yes. So, uh, you might even consider, with permission off whoever, having a little surface in one of these. But I would go, I'm going to lose contact with him now for a reason, okay? Yeah. I'm just going to quit, quit now so he can do what he wants, okay? Yeah. If you are going to have one of these, the premises, because it would be such it would be an amazing thing. Look, get them riding well in something like this. Yeah. All the, your cues, everything. Yeah. But this isn't big enough. Okay. He's off balance. They they are off balance all the time. My, yeah. my, you wouldn't be able to have one as big as mine. Mine's 115, no. 20 foot across. That shows you how around pen guys. You can see it from the aerial footage there. Real huge. You see the house there at the top left. It's a huge round pen. And like I say, when you're out on the rail, the horse isn't bent like in a 50 foot round, uh, round pen. And that's actually filmed in the round school. You can see the size of it, guys. And when a horse lopes around there, the horse isn't bent. It's almost straight. So you can just get your balance nice. Um, it's helped to loads of horses. I think in some ways, a huge round school has a lot of benefits more than an oblong school, you know, with corners. Um, so yeah, love, love our big round school, guys. Absolutely love it. Yeah. Mine is what's called almost straight on the edge. So yeah. when they're out on the edge, yeah. the horse is almost straight. Yeah. Um, and it's beautiful for people to learn to canter, to balance the horse because you haven't got to steer. No. You're out on the rail and you just sit there blah, 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 and the horse goes. So the problem with an are arena that's oblong, yeah. it's that off balance, that yeah. off balance, mm. that off balance. Constantly you're turning. Yeah. The beauty of a, a big round stall. Uh, can you see the benefit in that? I'm scared. Uh, um, and with your disabilities, it would be great whether they'd let you or, or whether everyone could put together. What do you think? And I've with... a bigger one that, you know, like about, yeah. I think this, am I right saying this is 60? This is a 51. It's, it's 51? You can add the, you can add the panel to make it bigger. Can you? Yeah. I, I would have said, if you get it to about, well, 60 would make a difference, but if really 75, yeah. which an extra few of these kind of, then you've got a brown pen that you can really do something in. You can even put a little jump in there or whatever. Yeah. All I wanted was to move out, not to keep cutting in, yeah. not to demand that he comes to me for a rest, no. and to hook me up, not keep, knowing yeah. that I'm the parent, I'm the teacher, yeah. I'm the alpha as they call it, to hook me up and not keep thinking elsewhere. Yeah. And that's kind of what you have to build on. Yeah, yeah. we've been trying to work on this attention thing, at least I have, I don't know about I have yet. as well, because he just um, because constantly. Because on, on the ground, yeah. just on the ground, just, bump, just bump, by yeah. keep pulling in back. Well, well, through, little you know? bumps, yeah. and, and, and I sometimes, yeah. I've said it so often, if it's taken a while, I'll sit on a chair and I'll just sit there. Yeah. Every time you're with me, but that, it's important you recognise the tries. Mm -hmm. So there'll be that little spot where he goes, well, okay, let, let me search here. I'll stay with you for a minute. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's yeah. it, yeah. You know. Um, right, so. Very good. I, I'm quite happy, you know, for you, I'm quite happy with him yeah. there. What I didn't like is pinning his ears at you lot, right? Yes. Uh, but if you try and get that out in his first session, mm -hmm. it's not good. That can be worked on. And, and what I would be doing is really either Chucking the rope at him, yeah. Something that he doesn't, or really, really, really shaking that flag every time pins his ears, because mm. he did it to Tanya about four or five times, yeah. and when he came past you, did it. But if I'd have worked on that now, we'd have yeah. lost a bit of that try in the round pen. Yeah. Does that all make sense? What I'm saying? You've yes. got to be. Um, so let's see. Here. So you know, to hook him. I'd like, I'd like him to, to hook me here. Uh, turn his sideways. So that very little work there has made him think I'm you know, mirror off facing Steve here yeah. and hooking him up. There's a benefit for me. Now this is the eye you don't think you will, which you are right there. This is the eye he's not come. You yeah. see, you see yeah. the difference he didn't hook. Yeah, <laughs> he, 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 he thought about it. it. He waited the leg and then didn't yeah. move. So, you 
know, you are doing more that side, you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, look, he's just stood there now. I'm in this eye. That's okay. I'd like him to think about, yes, come with me. So this is something you could, you could build on. And that's what's called hooking on. Mm. It's the same as join up, yes. but yeah. done a little bit differently. Uh, that's a nice feel. Yeah. That's a nice look. You've got a cracker here. Yeah. Tanya, did I we bring that. the trailer? <laughs> I actually know when the story, but if he's gone missing, we know where he's gone. <laughs> he's just a little bit lost. I don't think he's had the best start, and I don't mean that. I'm not, yeah. I'm not one start. for bad mouthing anyone. No. Don't think he's had the best start. I don't think they understood him was no. more than more the case. Yeah. I think they understood how to get the best from him. Yeah. He went from the breeder to somebody near Manchester, mm. and he come down to this person we had him from, and then she wanted him gone, so we had him. Because yeah. I could see what was underneath. They were having trouble. Yeah. Um, okay. I could see what was underneath there, so, so I know where I'm looking. Yeah. Little times like this, what I would probably do when I'm talking to people is let him sit with me this side. Yeah. Yes. It's something that you know. I used to forget it, but you know those those cowboys in America have got the most balanced horses in the world. I'm telling you. Yeah. They whenever they rope, they get off and get on that side. Yeah. They lead them from behind, so they're not always. Yeah. like here but yeah. on the other side yeah. don't um, need it from the chin. so I, I tend to relax with horses as often as I can with me this side yeah okay so you wouldn't even let us go in that he had a little flinch there <gasps> oh there's the big hair oh sorry yeah, yeah. yeah it just went through the bush I missed yeah, it, it. Is, oh yeah do you know what they're really, aren't they the second fastest animal in the UK is that right oh there's yeah. two there's two but I think they do about 50 you know yeah. they don't run a greyhound I think yes yeah. Guys, the hare is an incredible animal for speed. To let you know, the the hare didn't get caught by these these greyhounds, guys. But look, look at look at how athletic those hares are. These dogs have got tired and give up. But look, look. Yeah, Tanya, Sorry. That's a rare sight. I haven't seen one of them since I moved to Wales. Loads, 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 wow. Proper hare. So does that make sense? It does. When you when you when you with him, yeah. try and remember. Spend the time this side. Yeah, we spent a lot of time doing yeah. it. We, we all like took his rugs on from every side. And he was petrified that side, you said. He was, right. That was a little bit of. So I'm just gonna. Just back oh, up there. Just kind of, I, want him to get, I wanted him to do it before this, by the way, but he's not. He's got. He's, he's, uh, I have that little bit of rub off. I can invite him into it, but they don't walk into it without yeah. me. So, so there, I just do that. Now he's with me. Yeah? Yeah. In, when you're in a work situation, if you're just leading him around, you know, yeah, let him have a look around, isn't it? But yeah. if you're doing something with him yeah. and you're in a work situation, or if you're riding him and you get off, you, he sticks with you yeah. for that time that you, because this bolting off will happen if you, he needs to sit, stay connected to you yeah. in some way. So, what I'm going to do now, I'll, I know you've done this. I'll see how he, dis, he disengages. That's fine. Yeah, back away. Whoa. Because <laughs> uh, he used to be again. in his face, didn't he? And then I like that because I didn't expect that on the side he doesn't like. Um, so you've worked on that yeah, as well? Yeah, we have, yeah. Okay, that's good. It's, it's really going to help. You need, the more a horse that kind of rears, which he doesn't too much now, or does... Not so much, not but so he much. does still have a go occasionally. Yeah, well, they're, they're apt. If you can get a real good backup with them, 
they less likely to rear, they will free off their feet rather than lock up. Yeah. See, so see he would have reared just by putting him on the head collar. Whoa. That's okay. So feet forward. Now I'm going to go from neutral now. Can you go? Yes, you can. I don't really want him too close to me. There. He gave me a little bit of a shoulder heel there. Yeah. Which was okay. But he was coming my way. So we know. So we'll work through this problem. That really won't do anything for him. That will. So it's kind of uncomfortable for him when he wasn't going forward. Mm -hmm. Now he's going forward. Nice attitude. It's all about the attitude. Now, you think I'm going to have trouble? Possibly. <laughs> Quite relaxed on this side, more so than you thought. Yeah. yeah. Disengage those front quarters. Oh, it's gone very windy. load of wind come through guys it's unaudible so i'm just doing a quick voiceover on this little bit here um but just carrying on with the groundwork getting him to give his shoulder look his right shoulder went out there we had a couple of incidents where he sort of walked into my space a little bit and stuck so that's when i firmed up a little bit but uh, i think it may be all right now there's no bad blood in this horse at all no. so okay so i'm leading apparently his parents are very I'm leading here. well mannered Oh. I want to take that space, drive him. Lead him. Drive him. Take this space here. As he walks, I don't want him to trot, so as he walks, I released him a little bit to lead him. You can do quite a lot in these pens, can't you? Yeah. yeah. Huh? Not just chase them round. Right, now go. So I can lead him, I can drive him, and we'll go the other side. Disengage his hind quarters. Back up. the driving. Yes. And we'll lead him. Now driving. It's not bad this this eye's good. This eye feels nicer than the other eye. Yeah. Uh, lead him. So I'm happy with that. Can you go? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not even having to. Look, can you go? Yeah. Can you lead? Can you go? Well, it's a lot getting <laughs> him to lead with a loose rein, isn't it? See, a lot of this brain power comes from their uh, breathing as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he is. Can you back up? 
Yeah, you just need and you to back give up somebody with a bit <laughs> more... Knowledgeable. Yeah. Right. Because this is really right. this is new to me, this, this side of things. Mm. Could be. Yeah, exactly. It's breeders. It could be being rained somewhere with bad ox by now. Yeah. But they're showing them at three. Yeah. His breeder said it's a shame he seems to have gone through a lot of hands for a youngster, and I was like, well, he's going yeah. nowhere now. Good girls. Yeah. He'll stay with yeah. us till the day he dies. Look, it takes years to make a good horse, not months. Yeah. Exactly. Some people think it's months, well, it's be, not. It'll be yeah. a lot of people to afford horse, not not riding horse, wouldn't it? Is he going to be your main up riding horse? Yeah. Yeah, you want to. I really would get some of this work I'm doing. Yeah. Really good, right? Yeah. You've wasted a little bit sending to trainer right now. Yeah. Get some of this what I'm doing. Yeah. In there solid. Yeah. And then when he's ready, then you don't waste your money. You say, yeah, he's ready. He's, he's saddled. I can sit on him. He's got a good one rain stop. He flexes left and right. I can move his hind quarters over. Imagine then what a trainer can do. Yeah. For the few weeks. Yeah. Because exactly. there's. Yeah. Trisha is a, a very competent novice. She grew up around horses, but she didn't take it on until Michelle had cancer and uh. she had to come over and do the work that I couldn't. Um, and so we basically broke her back to horses. <laughs> so she's a competent novice. A lot of things in horses. So basically, I'm going to try and not move my feet now, disengage him. I'm telling him not to. Set him up to fail a little yeah. bit now, and we'll see. I want to. I want to be able to get the place. Do you think about middle or? Yeah, yeah. And 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 usually, would you have had a little bit of a game then? Uh, we did. Been all right on the left rein. Oh, so you are. On the right. And then on the right rein, you go round. On a on a long line like this. Long line on a lunge line. Uh, okay, so do you want me to try with the lunge line? You can do. Okay, so if you pass me the lunge line then. I personally think, and I say it as it is, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I personally so think, I, sir, I absolutely believe uh, where we are today at the moment, yeah. you've got a cracking horse here in the making. Yeah. I think you give him a couple of years, you're going to have one of the best riding horses, hopefully. Because yeah. he's quite confident deep down, I think. He is. He hasn't, you know, look, he's here on his own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. His mates are in the barn. Yeah. yeah. He's, four, he's probably not even four yet. When was he four? 24th of April, he was four. Okay, so he's a four year old. So, you know, I'm seeing so much good here. If I'd come now yeah. and I'd had a phone call, look, you know, we've got this horse, we're not really, we've got to move yards and, uh, you know, we can offer you him cheap. Mm. I would have come and got this far and said, I'm having it. Because yeah. I've seen yeah. enough nice yeah. stuff. Is that? Yeah. Because yeah. I'm trying to tell you all the good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what I tend to find is a good thing with horses, concentrate on the good stuff. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Just keep thinking about the good. That's uh, what we've always done. Yeah. If you pass me my flag, I might horse. need that. He was um. terrified when I had him at 18 months. Aww. Absolutely terrified. He's still got a couple of hand ups. We've never been able uh, to cure him often. But this will, I again, show the truth if I have to use this because he yeah. might put, drag me up. I don't know. Yeah. But I could easily just tap myself or swing the... What's it? I just want to see where he's yeah. at. It's, yeah. it's very quick you know. when he does it. He yeah. seems to be going round. Right. If you could open that then. When it 
gets to the end of the rope, then I give a little tug. Should I move back? <laughs> I'm moving back. So as soon as he's gone, I drop here. I'm moving back. Just in case. It's not going to run into the pen, is it? No, usually you'll go that way. All oh, right. Hmm? Usually you'll go that way. guys I was hoping that would happen he decides to straighten up straighten his frame and bolt off but the work I'd done meant that lead rope meant a lot more and he immediately come back to me um, so I was glad that happened um, so that first try at bolting which had been so successful for him and worked out so often suddenly didn't and he had a little rear in session there so oh, I can't believe what's just happened <laughs> so he's got to know that didn't do anything for him all right See, at that point, I would have lost him. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's because it, it's because he has gone. Yeah. That he's realised he he should go. Oh, yeah. I'm deliberately up in this. Yeah. To find that spot. Yeah. To show him, no, you stay. Need to escape, and I think you would have held me. I think you would have held that. I probably would have, but I don't really know how to do this, so I'm still learning it. Yeah. Physically, I can hold him. I just don't have the knowledge. Now that felt lovely. I'm gonna let him know. Let him face. Let him know. No need. Worse to rear, it's worse to rear and, and kick off because he just has to back up and it's kind of a nightmare for him. Yeah. But that's better for him. All psychological. So if he was my horse, I wouldn't care if he did that 10 times because I know after, after that he wouldn't want to be doing it. No. Nothing in it for him. But I know what's happened. He's got upset, he's escaped, and that's what he thinks he should do. Yes. Yeah. All right, so. That's exactly it. Can you go? How's that looking now? A lot better. He's got his ear on you now. Right, now I'm going to release him because he went through his little patch. And that's, and then he came back. Yeah. And there's something in it for him because he gets correct. I'm glad we did this for you. Mm. That's going to be a piece of cake in there for you. Yeah. Episodes are nothing, guys. No. That's nothing now. This is handleable. That's handleable, I think. It's been much worse. I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm yeah. trying to bring a bit of worse in him. But yeah, yeah. It's kind of. You know, I don't want to completely upset him. But I'm not, I'm, you know, that's awesome. All right, we'll go somewhere a bit different.
think this is really good. I'm not going to overdo this now because we've still got work to do. Yeah. But do you think I'll give you a start out here? Definitely, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And we'll see how it goes now. Beautiful. There's your pleasure jog. Yeah. There's your pleasure jog. He's actually flatter knee than I thought he was. Look at that. He's cut his knee is not much elevation. You are yeah. going to be comfortable on yeah. him. Did you see then when mm. he dropped his withers? He, he kind of his knees go out flat. They yeah, don't yeah. elevate. He's yeah. more what I call a Daisy Cutter. Yeah. But you don't have much back movement. No. The one yesterday was Big. quite, the, the shoulder wasn't sloping like that. So that when he trotted, his knees, because the, the shoulder's up, yeah. he's kind of more high headed and the back was like that. Mm. Oh, oh, my back wouldn't cope with it. No, not now. Um, we'll take him in now and we'll tap him up. Yep. All right. Yeah. Well, if you're having him train, uh, if you're having a, yeah. A Western trying to lope him around and get him going well. Yeah, yeah. You want a Western saddle really? Yeah, but I've, I've been saying that for quite but some get time. But get a decent one. Yeah, yes. With a good tree and have it kind of fitted. Right, so. I've four. wanted one, I'm like you, ever since I championed the Wonder Horse. I always wanted. Do you remember it? Yes, absolutely. But what was different because about that? It was a little kid. Amazing. It was a guy. I wanted but a everything else is little, my first girls. horse. When, when I had my first pony, I wanted it to be a Palomino, but didn't get a Palomino, <laughs> I got a black. I've had, I love blacks ever since. Yeah. yeah, people do love them, don't they? You yeah. have them. I, 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 I'm a, I I'm love Palomino, it's always that. Yeah. He used to watch Trigger yeah. as well. Trigger, yeah. Barbie ponies. Yeah. Yeah. What was uh, the other right. one? Mr. Now, Mr. Something. The talking. What I've got to do now. Mr. Ned. That wasn't Mr. I can't remember his name. What I've got to do now. He's been six weeks since Sally Saddle on. Seems fine. The, again, concentrating on good things. He's just stood lovely to have his sack on for me. Didn't care. He didn't seem cinchy. I was a bit careful, but didn't seem cinchy. So it's all good things. Now we've moved him around before you sit on him because just to move him around with the saddle on. Are you okay? I forgot the gloves. I don't, might be something oh, you don't need gloves. See, so he's very chilled. His bottom lip's loose. Watch yeah. the bottom lip. You see the bottom lip? Yeah. That's a sign the bottom lip loose that he's not bothered with that saddle. Again, more good things. Yeah. All right. I want to step back a bit because I'm going to just move him out a little bit. Just to make sure he's got no hump in his back. Don't think he will. A little kiss, remember, for Canter. Benefit for 99% of the country would want lazy. The showing people wouldn't. Yeah. Look, for my sins, I don't want lazy because lightness can come from life. Yeah. So I like a bit of life in my horses, not too much. Mm. He's going to be a lazy type, which would suit most people. Mm. So you kick on a bit. I think he's okay to get on. Yeah. Are, you, are you okay to get on? We need to get him fitted up then. Yeah. Um, the horse can flex properly. Mm -hmm. All right. So down. So run my hand down. I'm going to come around here yeah this one is need there's a reason why it's tight on that side yeah there's a reason why I'll tell you what it is now he's pulling on me here so that's stiffness I'm gonna try and wait here till he can figure this out this is dead tight this is Tanya uh, he's going up he thinks that's the answer that's the answer move my feet no this is dead solid so I'm just gonna stick with this uh, the only release here will get if I can stick with it is when he stops his feet and gives his chin. Okay. Stick with this. I can. Major breakthrough if I could pull this off. Right. 
this you want to do quite a lot in yep. the stable yep. with this yeah okay that is the reason that is it is because you've even said it yourself you've lunged and people have held him and led him with a bit that's right and what happens is he would have had thousand releases mm. thousands yeah. for for tightness yeah. yeah so you're walking with him and he keeps getting releases and you know you're walking with him and they become dead into this yeah mm. That was better, wasn't it? Yeah. Because he hasn't been um, led. Look, yeah. that's better. Because yeah, he was always led from the left. Yeah. So this, you will have a little bit of trouble with this, but I'll try, try and get him to, um, it was important then that I stayed in the storm. Absolutely. Uh, right, up, down, hand on the neck. Let's see whether I can, you know, this really needs work, guys. Uh, okay. If it's worth becoming for one thing, it's this. Yeah. Just, you just hang in there. This is what you'd want to do in your stable. Yeah. Just, just hold on, keep, keep waiting for him to find a give to this. He's just leaning on it. He thinks yeah. he's going to get a release from this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you you can't did. actually see how much he's, he's hanging on this. I'm going to try and come around there, Tanya, so you can see it. Everything's gone on pause since just before we moved. Yeah. It's a natural thing we do, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. What's he on this side? Uh, three, that side. Yeah. Uh, just matter whether on his weather, sorry. Oh, you're talking about his stirrups or? No, no, his stirrups oh. are fine. Oh, okay. Good point. You got on. He's in right there. Yeah. He's looking around. Look. Yeah. Look, look! Don't put him pressing too hard. Uh, he just loves that, doesn't he? I'm going to move these out of the way. Yeah. Okey doke. Turn them out. What a cracker! He uh, got sided up by the second time I showed it. And then I'm going to cross it. Size, doesn't it? Yeah. I, 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 yeah. We're over in this country, we are. Oh, yeah. Two big horses. Well done, kid, eh? You're great, mate. Right, follow me. Right. Well, sometimes it's good to be a novice and you can learn the right things. Yeah. Unlearning's the hardest thing, isn't yeah. it? Then, this is a lovely little first. Yeah. Wrinkles! Yeah, yeah. This, is a, this is a lovely little first. Little, yeah, he's done quite a bit just. He probably wants a bit of hay now, whatever. Yeah. So we won't do too much here. I just want, want him to, he's rebacked yeah. sort of thing, you know, in a good way. Yeah. He knows she's a novice and he's looking after yeah. her. Lift up, run your hand down, 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 down like that, yeah. And then down to there, yeah. then that on the neck, yeah. yeah. And then up to that point, and then just give a rub. That's it. Let that go. Just let it all go, yeah. Good. Not the other side yet. 
and down to there, yeah, on the neck and to the hip. Good boy. Yes, <laughs> good boy, come yes. on, sir. That's how I thought that was going to be. Yeah. Uh, whether it was a fluke, whether it was because I went yeah. through from breakdown comes breakthrough, yeah. and I had a breakdown there. Yeah. I did because that was yeah. difficult to hold that, yeah. and he had to search. If I'd have come out of it that that breakdown, he would have been not been doing that. So, so again, up, down on the neck, and imagine it coming through. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, there you go. Oh, good boy, man. Now, get into trot. Yeah. You know. Now lift up. Roll your hand down on the neck and hold. Good boy. Yeah, let good go. Boy. One round stop. Yeah. Good boy. How did you feel about that? That was good, yeah. That was really good. Yeah, it was good. He's look, not really quick. Look, look at him. Look at him. Maybe look three, I think. He likes to work. Do you know what? I really wasn't doing much more than that. I, I no. honestly wasn't, okay. you know, uh, because I've done quite a bit with him. He's yeah, been yeah. through some stuff. We've rebacked him. Do you think? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm, just, I'm sorry, I'm just smiling because he's remembering a naughty little thing that we've talked to help with the flexing. What? Little sweetie here. Don't do that. No. <laughs> That's not music to my ears. I'm sorry, we'll stop that now. I, I yes. would. Uh, I wouldn't do much more than that. Yeah. I, I really wouldn't. Yeah. No. Because you've re he's re-backed. He's, look, look at where you're leaving him. Yeah. Uh, I could easily get him trotting around. I don't yeah. think that's... No. Uh, um, are you happy with what we've done? Definitely, yeah. yes. Yeah. You've got a lot to work, you know, yeah. work on. Right, step down with a bit of quality. Right. Yeah. No, he's got that, he's good at that one. Yeah. yeah. Unless you want me to trot you around, it's up no, to you. No, no, I'm alright. Right. I think... I think he's done enough. I think, yeah. I wanted to just see him spray, yes. with the rider on. Yeah, definitely. And I haven't seen anything I don't like. No, good. So we called it a day at that, guys. I mean, we've been been working with the horse, four-year-old young horse, a little bit troubled. Been working for several hours, you know, and they do need to eat. They need to eat hay. He'd, he'd kind of gone with everything. He'd learned a new way of thinking. I, I I was convinced he was a he was definitely a different look in his eye, more willing. Got him over some of his um, issues where he thought he needed to do certain things. And I thought that was enough for him. Now, we'd even managed to get um, get him ridden again. He hadn't been ridden for a long time. And all I was interested in, because sister number two is quite a novice, really, riding. How brave is she to do that, guys? Four-year-old that bolts off and she stepped up. She knows, you know, there's a reason she needs to help the uh, sister and her mom now. She stepped up. She got up there and... The most important thing for, for me was for her to learn how to bend the horse to a stop because he bolts. Uh, and they're going to practice that now in that ramp and they're going to do loads and loads and loads of stops, get all that good. And then they'll go to trot in and do some more stops. Also use the two rein stop. But obviously, if the two rein stop doesn't work after two or three seconds, bend them to stop. So I was quite pleased in the time uh, with what we'd achieved. Or a lovely horse for a four year old, just, just a baby, really. Um, hopefully he's on the right track now. Uh, I think it's a good it's, it's a good out outcome. And the girls are so strong within themselves anyway. So, yeah, feeling good about the whole thing. Feeling positive for them. And, uh, yeah, I'll do an update, you know, later in the year. Um, uh, they said they let us know they're getting on with everything. So, Tanya's just been shouting at me so she doesn't get too many messages. Shopify is on here. Lots of people will be asking about the flags again. Our the ones that Tanya makes, the telescopic flags. Yeah, James put a link there, Yeah, there'll be a link on here. The um, the flags, the strings, the special strings that we have made, which go around the horse's necks with the special splice on the end that we have put in them. They're on the shop and they can be used for picking feet up and all sorts. So we've got those, we've got our special halters. Our lead ropes have a special splice in. Um, they, they're quite costly to have the splice in, but there's no metal to, to knock under the horse they're really really good our lead ropes and they're not 12 and 13 foot that's too long for me doesn't work for me and most people who buy ours they're 10 10 and a half foot much better size um quality lead rope so yeah lots of things on the shop so shopify for that uh got a couple of horses to go to in the next few days then that's it then for a week because 
next Saturday, we've got a lot of preparing to do. Got my uh, my birthday party, but on on the Saturday, uh, we've got a, a ranch day. Now, usually we have we don't have we, we limit the numbers, but a lot of people wanted to come because we've got a little bit of a get together after. Uh, got a real interesting day. That's not this Saturday. It's the 24th Saturday. Um, it's going to be a great day, guys. So we've got the horsemanship day here with food. Tanya does that. And then when we finish at four o'clock, we've got kind of a bit of a party going on there, haven't we? Big, uh, big. Yeah, but there'll be a lot Thursday. there. We're also going to do a live on the Saturday, a little section of live. We don't know which horse yet. Uh, and we'll try and get away from the people that are here. And uh, so we've got that going on. And then the 8th of July, which is two weeks after, Scotland, we mentioned it on the last video, Scotland. There's a few, they've changed the seat. I think, I think, I think there's a few more spaces left for that. So we'd love to see you there, guys. Uh, check the page for where that is. So that's it, guys. Same thing again on everyone. If you can keep us cracking on. If you like the videos, if you want to see more of them, we need likes, shares and Comment. comments. We love, we love reading the comments. Yeah. So if you can do that for us and happy trails until the next one. <laughs>